Her gün yeni bir gelişme yaşanan yapay zeka devrimlerinden bir yenisi daha geldi. Teknoloji şirketi olan Rabbit, kimilerine göre bilgisayar dünyasının geleceğini şekillendirecek alışılmışın dışında bir cihazın tanıtımını gerçekleştirdi. Bu cihaz sadece özel bir AI asistan değil, aynı zamanda hayatımızı baştan sona değiştirecek bir devrim niteliğinde olabilir mi? Daha düne kadar hakkında hiç konuşulmayan Rabbit, bir anda internetin en çok konuşulan konularından biri haline geldi. Hi everyone, my name is Jesse and I'm the founder and CEO of Rabbit. I'm so excited to be here today to present to you two things we've been working on. A revolutionary new foundation model and a groundbreaking consumer mobile device powered by it. Our mission is to create the simplest computer, something so intuitive that you don't need to learn how to use it. The best way to achieve this is to break away from app-based operating system currently used by smartphones. Instead, we envision a natural language-centered approach. The computer we're building, which we call a companion, should be able to talk to, understand, and more importantly, get things done for you. The future of human-machine interfaces should be more intuitive. Now, before we get started, Let's take a look at the existing mobile devices that we use daily. The one device that's in your pocket, the smartphones. Like iPhone and Android phones. These guys have been here for years, and we've grown tired of them. The problem with these devices, however, is not the hardware phone factor. It's what's inside. The app-based operating system. Want to get a ride to the office? There's an app for that. Want to buy groceries? There's another app for that. Each time you want to do something, you fumble through multiple pages and folders to find the app you want to use, and there are always endless buttons that you need to click. Add to the cart, go to the next page, check the boxes, and jumping back and forth, and so on. The smartphone was supposed to be intuitive, but with hundreds of apps on your phone today that don't work together, it no longer is. If you look at the top of ranking apps on app stores today, you'll find that most of them focus on entertainment. Our smartphones has become the best device to kill time instead of saving them. It's just harder for them to do things. Many people before us have tried to build a simpler and more intuitive computers with AI a decade ago. Companies like Apple, Microsoft, and Amazon made Siri, Contana, and Alexa with these smart speakers. Often, they either don't know what you're talking about or fail to accomplish the tasks we ask for. Recent achievements in large language models, however, or LLMs, a type of AI technology, have made it much easier for machines to understand you. The popularity of LLM chatbots over the past years has shown that the natural language-based experience is the path forward. However, where these assistants struggle is still getting things done. For example, if you go to the ChatGPT and use their Expedia plugin to book a ticket, it can suggest options, but ultimately cannot assist you in completing the booking process from start to finish. Things like ChatGPT are extremely good at understanding your intentions, but could be better at triggering actions. Another hot topic is a field of research around what they call agents. It has caught the eye of many open source projects and productivity software companies. What remains to be solved is for these agents to perform tasks end-to-end, -end, accurately and speedily. The problem is forcing a model to perform a task it is not designed for, whether for a language model to reason about web page using super prompts or screenshots. We have yet to produce an agent as good as users simply clicking the buttons. To fulfill our vision of a delightful intuitive companion, we must go beyond a piece of complex software. We want it to be in the hands of everyone. So, we first set out to fundamentally understand how computer apps are structured, and more importantly, 
how humans interact with them. We wanted to find a way for our AI to trigger auctions on behalf of users across all environments. We want it to be universal, not just a Chrome plugin or a limited set of apps, but everything, iOS, Android, and desktop. These applications share something in common, the interface. They all have a user interface. So at a philosophical level, if we can make an AI trigger actions on any kind of interface, just like a human would, we will solve the problem. This insight led us to create the large action model, or LAM, as we call it. It is a new foundational model that understands and executes human intentions on computers, driven by our research. Your pocket companion. This is the Rabbit R1. Designing collaboration with Teenage Engineering, the R1 is a fully standalone device, primarily driven by natural language. The accumulation of countless hours of work from our research, design, and software teams. It is simple to use. R1 is equipped with everything you need to interact with you and perceive your surroundings. Now, let's give it a shot. What's the nature of the reality? The nature of reality is a topic that has captivated the minds of philosophers and thinkers throughout history. According to Bertrand Russell, reality is composed of hard data derived from sensory experiences and logical analysis. It is the amalgamation of our perceptions, thoughts, and the external world. I can speak or type with R1. If you shake R1, a keyboard will pop up. You will also know that the response speed is much faster than using some of the LLM Assistant apps with web browsing, such as ChatGPT. What's the stock price of Coca-Cola? Searching for the stock price of Coca-Cola. The stock price of Coca-Cola, KO, is $59.76. Now, let's play some music. Play Craftworks Pocket Calculator. Playing Pocket Calculator by Kraftwerk for you. Play another song from the album. Sure, playing Computer Love for you. Sunumun diğer bölümlerinde Uber aracılığıyla araç çağırma veya online pizza siparişi gibi birkaç demo daha gösterildi. Bunun yanı sıra cihazın USB bağlantısına ve SIM kart girişine sahip olduğu belirtiliyor. Ayrıca telefonlarımızda bulunan Wi-Fi ve Bluetooth gibi diğer özellikleri de içerecek. Bazılarına göre bu yeni nesil bir bilgisayar olarak görülüyor. Ancak pratikte kullanımının çok yaygınlaşmayacağı yönünde farklı görüşler de mevcut. Fiyatlandırmaya gelince cihaz 199 dolar fiyat etiketiyle satışa sunuldu ve şu anda internet sitesinden sipariş verilebiliyor. Ayrıca cihazın teslimatının Mart ayında başlayacağını da eklemek önemli.